failed you or failed someone. The enemy is the mastermind of reproach, uh, pointing fingers, trying to make it seem that our prayers is not effective, uh, singleness or corporateness. So the enemy, it just, he, he just developed in that area where we don't be developing the prayer. And so I want to encourage everyone, I want to do this here, led by the Holy Spirit. Um, because when you talk about prayer, uh, it's only a few that caught the revelation of prayer. And don't mind coming to prayer. Uh, people will go to concerts. I'm talking about church folk, believers, or uh, church folk, however you want to call it, the, in the body of Christ. They'll go to concerts. They'll go to all other venues, all that stuff. But when it comes down to prayer, that's when the enemy really deceives and place a spirit on a person where, you know, make it seem like prayer is not important. Coming together is not important. And um, he's, a, he's a big deceiver, you know. He, 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 he you know, I, I want y'all to remember this. If the enemy could deceive you from coming to corporate prayer, He'll deceive you in your personal prayer. Amen. He'll deceive you in your personal prayer. Because what happens is, he have to, in order for him to come in, he need a door. He need a way of setting up his camp. He need a way, he need a way to set up his, his mind, his tactic in, in somebody's mind. And so what happens is, you know, he said, well, you know, I got a relationship. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't heard this. I got a relationship with God. I, I ain't got to go nowhere. I got a relationship with God. I got. Well, well why the church is the boogeyman to you? You know, he wouldn't have had. He wouldn't have wasted his son. See, Jesus was God in the flesh, and so God wouldn't have wasted his own time clearing out the house of prayer. If the house of prayer was gonna be a boogeyman, you, you know. And so, I, I want to encourage you. Uh, prayer does work, especially when we pray in the will of God. Uh, uh, his word, uh, it don't disappoint when you understand the word. It, it don't disappoint you. It, it, you know, when you don't, only people that be disappointed, them the ones that don't understand the word. You know, uh, take it out of content. But it's, it's very important, it's very important that uh, keeping a mind to pray in your personal life and being available for corporate prayer. Uh, and it doesn't have to be, we got prayer on a certain night. Amen. But anytime we come into the house of God, our attention ought to be straight into prayer. Straight into prayer. Not let nobody talk, be talking, be distracted or whatever this and that. You see, because what, what happens is the enemy, I, I open up like this, the enemy is is a, is the best deception. He, 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 he's, he's the best, the greatest uh, 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 illusion. He he just good at what he do. He he just good, but he need a mind to operate. He he need a mind to operate, and that's what happens. He work over people that want to do right, people that go to church, people that and he just want to work on that mind. He want to be that distraction. He want to be that manipulator. He want to be that. He want to be that whole center of attention. You know, 
keep us from seeing the power of our own prayer, amen, at home in our personal relationship and as a body. As a body. He don't want to see how powerful we are. He don't want us to know that. He, he do not want us to know that. And, and so, but we are in a time that um, in order to defeat the enemy, we got to deal with our attention span. When it's time for prayer, when it's time to do the things of God, our, our, attention, our, our attention span, you know, it, 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 you know, he said, well, uh, I, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. Well, after a little bit of time, you know, things go to popping up, things go to coming to your mind, you know, uh, all because the attention span, the, the, you know, uh, when your attention span uh, meet your patience and your patience meet your hunger and your thirst after righteousness, then everything that's in you um, that will uh, 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 look like that you're going to miss something, it, it'll quicken you. It'll wake you up. It'll, it'll get your attention. Oh, hold on. I, don't, don't talk to me right now. I can't do this. Oh, but let me let me hit my head right now. I don't want to think about that right now. You know, it, it, you'll get back in line because why the enemy want to dilute the word of God? He want to dilute our patience. He want to kill our attention span. All because he don't want us to know that prayer works. Okay. Prayer changes things. Mm -hmm. He don't want that. And so what happens is, practice this here. If anybody have been going through with your attention span and, and your patience in service, but I don't care where it's at, you know, uh, you know, well, let me deal with service, deal with service or whatever, and, and you get distracted, uh, stop praying. When you get here, just really pray. And stop binding up that spirit before it happens. Amen. Do that make sense? Stop binding up. God, I want some attention. I, I, I want to give all my attention to you. I want to give all my, my all, I want to set everything still. And, uh, what, that, what that song say, uh, 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 give me you, everything else can wait. Just give him, just give him you. Just, just give him you. Because what happens? Because when the word of God come, 99.9% uh, the enemy, uh, well, a hundred percent. He he don't want believers to catch the word, right, mm -hmm. and understand the word. So when he throw the monkey wrench, your mind was one way. God was gonna do this, but you didn't catch the whole word. Cause the scripture said we have to get the whole conclusion of the matter. Mm -hmm. So you know, with our attention span, uh, with patience, with with the hunger and thirst after righteousness, he said, I'll feel you. Thank you God. So if he's going to feel you, that means we got to give him all of our attention before we could be filled. Mm -hmm. That way we could be filled up. And so uh, if we don't get filled up, it's nobody's fault but ours. It's not God's fault. But I'm telling you, if anything we're going to get in this hour, we got to give God full attention. Because it's mighty strange that we can give everything else full attention, but when it comes to God, that's where we get wore out. You know why believers get wore out there? Because their relationship is not quality like God desired to be. Amen. And what I mean by quality, quality is that it's not convenient. We're not praising him. We're not talking to God because we need something. We're talking to God for who he is. We going to God for who he is. I'm worshiping him for who he is. I'm praising him because I know he still lives. It's my duty to give honor unto God. Every time I think about how I was brought out, how I could have stayed stuck, how he showed me some kindness, how he showed me some mercy, all I can do is say, God, I just give it all to you. But one thing I need to know, how can I change my state? From where I'm at to where you're trying to take me. And it's got to start through prayer. Amen. It start through prayer. Prayer is a communication yeah. to, from earth to heaven. Amen. 
practice of communication from earth to heaven. So watch this. I'm on teach, Lord Jesus. I'm trying to get inside. So, so watch the enemy. He is a trickster. He is he 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 he's the mastermind of illusion. He's the mastermind of of of, of all tricks. Right? So so if Satan would kick out with 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 his little with his little little, 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 little buddies, if he were kicked out of heaven, he already know the power of prayer. He already know the power of prayer. So one thing he said, this is what he do. He said, wait a minute, if I can catch Jesus coming out of the fast, catch him hungry, he would pray and he would fast it. And he was hungry. But one thing he forgot to understand, the scripture say Jesus was hungry. He did never say he was thirsty. So that means he would feel some type of way with something. And so when he tried to go to the food, water said, wait a minute, I ain't, I ain't dried up, I ain't thirsty, I ain't dehydrated. You know, oh, no. So we got to understand is that the enemy target prayer. Yes, he does. He target prayer. He targets prayer. The enemy targets prayer. Is bored. Oh that enemy will mess with your mind. You say the same prayer. Well, keep saying the same prayer. Amen. If you say what God said, you you just you just confess it. You just repeat what God's words say. So it's nothing wrong with that. But if the if the devil done told you you say the wrong say the same prayer, say well, all right, thank you for letting me know that. I'm gonna get another prayer on you, Joker. So when the enemy come one way, we have to uh, be looking to and be sensitive to shift. Because when he show up, it's time to shift somewhere. Amen. 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 He can only grab you if he's in front of you. He can only grab you if he's in front of you. But if God say he'll make him flee seven different ways, how he gonna make him flee? It's through his word. Through his anointing, through his, his spirit, through his power. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage everyone. I want to encourage everyone. Let's go to let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 6. Thank you, God. I want to encourage everyone. Keep praying. Keep confessing. Keep, keep pushing through. Keep driving. Keep, keep moving forth. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. It may not look like your prayer not effective or in an area. Oh, yeah. Keep keep knocking. The door already open. You're going to see the manifestation. Oh, yes. You're going to see the manifestation. Sometimes it looks like the, the enemy, uh, he, he, he take it up a knock before you see the man. Don't stop. Don't move. Keep moving. Amen. Amen. Because, then again, the enemy want to discourage believers from praying. That's why sometimes people... Uh, in the body of Christ, say the more I pray, the worse it get. Uh, well, could you imagine where you would have been if you wasn't praying? Could you imagine where you would have been if you wasn't praying? I'd rather take my chance with God all day than by myself. Amen? Because self will, self will fool you. Self will deceive you, but God will deliver you. Amen? So when it's when it's when it's when it's too big for us, it's just right for God. Amen. But I want to encourage everyone: don't stop praying, because the enemy playing, Amen, is is to get more manipulative, uh, uh, more deceiving, yeah. more manipulation. It, it's gonna be coming over the land, already over the land. Y'all yeah. see what I'm saying? Coming all over the land, you know. Uh, 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 so we, we got to understand that the only way we're going to continue to fight a good fight of faith, we got to keep that communication with God. Right. We got to keep that communication with God. And when we keep that communication with God, amen, we'll be just like Rambo. Come out there with, the, with, the, with that machine gun and wear him out. Y'all you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I used to like John Wayne. You'll come out, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? See, that communication with God, you can't miss. You see what I'm saying? See, because what's this here? The enemy is accused of the brother David, right? And so how? If he can ever accuse us not praying enough, guess what he's going to do? 
He going to ease you right on in there. He going to come in that prayer light and he going to well, amen, he'll wear that saint out. Amen. amen. But Hebrew chapter 6. He said Matthew. I mean Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 8. Amen. Verse 8. Amen. I want to give everyone time to get there. Chapter 8. Amen. Amen. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. All right. Uh, what it say? Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knows knoweth what things he have need of before you what? Yes. So he already know. He said, Well, why well, well, I gotta pray? So when you run across someone, say, Well, if God already know, why I gotta pray? Because he wanna see your faith. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. He want to see. He want to see your. He want to see your faith. Really, um, he he want your relationship. He want your relationship. He want your availability. Could you call on the Father? Could you trust in the Father? Mm -hmm. Could you honor the Father? Amen. Amen. So why 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 do he do that? Well, that's God's system. That's his system. You know that that's his system. That's that's God's system. You know, we can't break his system. We can't change his system. It's not for God to understand us. It's for us to understand God. Amen. Right? Yeah. And so, uh, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. See, I don't count it like when things come out of my spirit. Oh my God. When Hebrew six came out of my spirit, Hebrews, but it's it was six, just just come out like that. I'm gonna read it. Um, Thank you, God. So so he already know he want to know it just like it just like our children, right? Um, uh, you rather for them to steal from you or to ask you? Why they got eyes? Why you want them to eyes? Huh? That's the right thing to do. What else? Reverence. Reverence. What else? Respect. What else? So they won't steal from nobody else. Well, they won't steal from no one else. Right? Okay. Then all that. And he said, if you if you go through another door, you're just robbing the thief. So he'd rather for you to come to him. Then you talk to the devil. Right. You know? So, all right. So, our Heavenly Father, amen, if he's our Heavenly Father, he want us to honor him. He want us to trust him. He want us to know that he's Jehovah Jireh. He want us to know that He he's our everything. He could do, amen, what we need him to do, and it's going to get done, right? We could go to sleep. If he could keep a country, he can keep our problem, right? So, so that's where we gotta go at because this is where the enemy fight. Well, if God know, if He all knowing, well, why you got to still there and pray? Why well, you just gotta pray? Why well, you just can't stay home? You can save your gas. Well, you don't save your gas for other things that you, you don't have to have. So that's what the enemy does. The enemy play game. He manipulates the mind of believers and make it seem like it don't take all of this. It don't take all of that. But yes, it takes this and more. Amen. In order to keep that relationship, keep that spirituality open, and keep the enemy out of our minds and out of our spirit, we got to keep prayer open and available. We got to pray in season, pray out of season. Amen. 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 Okay, um, let's go to... Um, Let's, let's go to chapter 7. Chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Uh, 
Okay. All right. If ye then being evil know how to verse. give. Uh, 11 verse. Chapter 7, 11 verse. If ye then eat, being evil know how to give good gift unto your children, how much more shall your father which in, in heaven give good things to them that I see him. So that's the hope. That's the hope. We wouldn't need faith if we didn't have hope. If we didn't have hope, we wouldn't need faith. Right? Faith is what? The substance of things hoped for. Right? You ain't seen yet, but you're still hoping. So what you're hoping for, that's what you, if you are, if you, whatever you believe in God for, a house of God, that's what you're hoping. Right. You want money, that's what you're hoping. You want uh, uh, healing, that's what you're hoping. Yeah. Right? Whatever it is, that's what you're hoping. Right? So all of that working, just all that works together. It works together. So what, what, what Jesus is saying, uh, if, 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 if crazy folks that don't love people know how to uh, give somebody something. What about your father? What about the heavenly father? He know how to give you something good too. Even he give you something better. Man. Because it, 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 you know he give you something better. Right? So I would encourage everyone. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. The prayers of the righteous okay. is it's working. Okay. It's working. It's pushing back everything that the enemy trying to push towards. It's about as much, right? Amen. So, so it's, it, it, it already in itself is power. Mm -hmm. It is powerful. Amen. And it is anointing. Yes. Amen? When everybody really, well, let, let me write this Bible. When everybody don't want to call through Jesus Christ, it, it's, it's anointing. But you have folks, amen, go do all that cha 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 and, 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 and all of this and then and this and that, and they ain't no knowing it nowhere. Because it's an I spirit. It's a want to be seen spirit. It's a want to be great spirit. And God said, well, uh, um, if you are, if that's how y'all operating, I, I, where my glory go come? I have no place. You invite me in. It's all about y'all. It's all about you. But wherever, amen, two or three touching and agreeing, in his name, the, it opens down here, it opens up heaven, and heaven, when heavens are open up, it says, whatever that petition is, whatever going on, if it's in my will, I, it going to be done. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to give it to him. Thank you, I'm going to give it to him. But now one thing, I, I'm going to teach this again, but one thing prayer does not do, go against somebody's will. Oh my God. If a person will, don't want to fight no longer, don't want to do something no longer, your prayer could not change they will. If they, if they sick and they want to give up the goal, your prayer could not change they will. They got to change their mind to fight a good fight of faith. All we do is come in in all we do is come in an agreement. You never know what people's mind is. You never know what's going on with people's mind. Y'all understand what I'm saying? You know that, that, that DJ, you know, he got money and fame and all of that. And that thing, you know, boom. He, he, he commits suicide in a hotel. Leave a, leave a note. Out of nowhere. You never know where people mind at. So I want you to understand that uh, uh, you cannot pray against somebody's will. If there's something they don't want to do, think about how, how you are hard headed and nobody can change your mind. My God. Because that's one thing God gave us. He gave us a will. He gave us a will, my emotion. That's tied to our soul. Y'all see what I'm saying? He gave that to us. You could not pray. Okay, I, I mean, I mean, some time ago. I mean, some time ago, uh, uh, individual, uh, uh, they, they life was, uh, 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 w w was in shambles. They were cutting up. Yeah, <laughs> had pastor praying, she was praying and fasting and and all of that and that and and, and then he said, "I'll stop, stop, don't, don't fast no more, don't pray no more." 
No, she gonna tell you what she been doing. That's her will. No, no. It, it, this is true. This is true. You know, the will, when it's tied to the mind, when it's tied to the mind, nobody can change that except that individual. Now, if God want to cause a storm to blow through and make them <laughs> second guess, that's God because he's able to do it. He's able to do it. That's why I was saying Sunday, God had me saying, don't waste time on people that don't want to change. Oh if they don't want to change their situation, if they don't want to see their situation, stop wasting time. You can be praying about Toto or somebody oh else. God, you, can. Oh God. you can be praying for God to give you some more wisdom, some more insight somewhere else. God, give me another business adventure. adventure. God, God get, show me where else, what other area I can work on. Now, just don't let people just be at your time when it's viable. Amen. 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 But why God didn't do that? Why God didn't do that? Well, I'm teaching y'all tonight. Well, if that person mind change, that don't change God. That don't change that God can't do it. That don't change God still doing it every day. That don't stick. That don't change the power of God. But if man mind, human listen, they can change. Guess what happened? It deviates from God's plan. Amen. And so we got to understand that when God brought a covenant, a binding agreement, God never moved. Man moved. God never stopped. Yeah. Man stopped. Yeah. Man stopped. Okay. Amen? Amen? And so uh, he knows what we need. He knows what we need. Uh, Matthew chapter 18 verse 19 Matthew chapter 18 verse 19 all right okay uh, all right uh, um, again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. Now, um, um, I, I want to teach this here, but I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to come back again and teach this here too. Um. I'm going to have to come back and teach this again, too. Uh, so, now, uh, Jesus saying, Jesus teaching, that he's teaching. And Jesus saying, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. Right? Mm -hmm. So, what Jesus was doing, Jesus teaching them, letting them know, you can't stay hung up on me here. So when I leave here, you don't ask me, you ask the Father. No. But it got to go through me, though. It got to be a step of approval through me, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, so now, I'm, I'm going to show you this here. So, and it says, and he asked him, uh, no, 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 no. Let me read it again. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, Right? Yeah, they share eyes, right? Now, now you, you you have people uh get arrogant with God, try to demand God to do something. See, it's one thing you demanding God to do something and icing God to do something. Let me let me give you an example. If if one of our children walk up there and say, uh uh uh, give me some of that chicken. What what you mean? You don't demand me, or you ice me. I know you're hungry. I know, but you know, it, 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 it's, it's a respect. It's an honor. So, so you have some people, amen, uh, you know, want to demand God to do something instead of icing God, showing reverence. Other words, 
I'm asking you because if there's any other way it's going to get done, it got to get done by you. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen through you. Yes. So, so we got to make sure that we don't let the enemy manipulate our mind and reduce us down where the enemy uh, get us out of the spirit of control where we don't have no more control and we become self righteous. This is what I want God to do. And he gonna do it too. My faith is he gonna do it. Well, okay, let me help you on that too. It's nothing wrong with, you know, you making your boast in the Lord. He gonna do it because my faith is there. It's how you say it. Because how you say it is how you perceive it, and that's what's in your spirit. Jesus. Because you could be borderline disrespecting God's word, dishonoring God's word. Oh, he gonna do this. My faith is there. How I many have I heard some folks do it? Oh, he gonna do that. I don't saw boy. I'm like, Lord Jesus, who they think they are? No, that's the wrong mind. It's all right to have confidence, but you cannot be arrogant. Because, it, it, right, our confidence, we got to make our boast in God, right? Come to the throne boldly where we shall receive grace, right? But, 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 but now, now, but see, but mercy can't show up if you really are out of mercy. My God. And that's when the folk that, I, listen, I done ran across a preacher boy, I'm like, Lord. Jesus, oh God, I'm so much arrogant spirit. Oh God, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, ooh, I worship him or him. Yeah, wow. it, it, that's how deep they get. That's how you you understand what I'm saying. So we have to make sure that we stay in line and stay in tune. Amen. With what God is saying and where we at. When I'm not trying to be no no faster where I can run. I'm not trying to be no more higher than where God will put this anointing. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't want to. I don't want to invite myself on a whole other dimension. My anointing don't 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 call for it. I'm doomed. I, I'm doomed. If I try to put myself in a place in my anointing, this anointing where God and put me, in, if He have not increased for that area, I'm doomed. Everybody doomed. So you never try to get in a place where God say, if God have not took that anointing up, and took that wisdom up, took that understanding up, if he have not took that up for that place, never try to go or act like you in that place. You're doomed if you do. You're doomed. You're doomed. That's why you always see me walk low. I ain't crazy. Pastor Paul taught me, son. You ain't finna puff me up. <laughs> No. And that's what happens. That enemy will pump your prayer up like it like, make you make you get big headed even in your prayer life. Oh Jesus. Yes, he will. Yeah. I know I know he hit me. I know he hit me. Well, yeah, I'm about to hear you too. Oh my God. But he resists the pride. And give grace to the humble. Heavenly Father, I know I ain't got the thing to prove. I know my father hear me. I don't care who say, I know God don't hear your prayer or whatever. You let them say what they want to say. But whatever you do, don't let the devil get right here and think you, make you think that your prayer be on everybody. My God. Amen. You never do that. Because then you be witching yourself. Just know that your prayer is working. Know that you talk to God and he talk back to you. Because when people get in a mind place like that, that they untouchable, their prayer is on top of the world, now they don't tap their familiar spirits now. Oh or open themselves up for a familiar spirit. And so when God trying to get their attention, really, they don't, they can't, they can't grab it. They can't grab it. And, 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 and that, that's, that's the individual, um, you know, you know, 
and it grieved my spirit. And that's why I pray that y'all understanding this. You know, the enemy is the mastermind. He's a deceiver. He's a manipulator. He, he's in a great illusion. He's the best. Okay. He's the best in doing it. Okay. He's the best. I want to encourage you to stay on course with your prayer. Amen. Don't look at nobody else's prayer life. Don't look at that. I want to pray like them. I want to do like No, you got to do you. How God detailed it to you. Because your comprehension may not be up to do it like them. Right. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You got to be confident in your own prayer. You got to be, you got to make your own call and your own election sure. Amen. Amen. That's why, that's why, you, 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 I, you, you, you don't want to be like them on TV and all that. No, I don't. I want to be like he positioned me. The Bible say, the Bible say, the glory will be revealed through me, not in the ones that already done made it all. However, and why did they, what you say, Lord? Then because they don't TV, that don't mean they the only one made it. I made it. The devil thought he had me, but look at me. You made it. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. You see how the devil done flipped and divided the church? Make a ministry. Small church. Hard. And you, you listen, 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 listen. And what God, the Bible said we're supposed to mind the same thing, say the same thing. What I'm teaching, you ought to be able to turn on the TV. You ought to be able to go somewhere and say, you know what, Apostle said the same thing. You ought to be able to say, say the same thing. The Bible said they come with every other doctrine. Woo! Good God. I'm, are y'all understanding it? That's why folks can't get delivered. I got to feel big. I got to feel mega. I need a, well, you need a lot of people around you. I'm sorry. Hell enlarging itself daily. Amen. 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 Good God of mine. Thank you, God. I, I, we can't reduce God's down to our humanistic thinking. We drop the power from numbers. We drop the power. Amen. Because y'all hear what I'm saying? We can't let the devil manipulate us from that. If God got a word, if he got a man of God got your word, you don't detour from your word. Oh, God. Because what's it? Oh, Lord. Because it will affect your prayer life. Oh, my God. You're teaching. When I needed to come out, woman of God, I never deviated from my word that was coming from my leader. I never deviated from it. I never, I, oh God, oh, that's, that's it, that's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I knew what he needed. If you act, there's a place you got to be in to receive. There's a mindset, there's a mindset there's a place in your mind got to be in a place to uh, receive. First, you got to obtain it. You ain't going to believe nothing in your mind unless you obtain it. And so once you obtain it, I believe it. And now I can speak it. And you can't speak it if it ain't hidden in your heart yet. And so when you speak it, I'm talking about through the word of God, when you work in the principle of God, because men are speaking in a hard form from because they ain't got the meaning. But I'm talking about when you got the meaning, when you speak, you already know that God here. I ain't got to show I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do this. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And see, 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 that's what helps me. When I see arrogant folk, that helped me to get real low. That helped me to get real low. I ran into one of them on this weekend, too. Yes, I did. I ran and I rebuked them, too. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I rebuked them with the power and the spirit of love. You play with me. Amen. You, 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 jump out. you, like, you, you believe in protocol. You broke all protocol. Don't play with me. You broke all protocol. <laughs> 
And so when they look and see, when they look and see, oh, this is a young man. He, 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 yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Pray with me. <laughs> got time for that arrogant stuff. My God. Ain't got time for that arrogant stuff. It helps me to stay low. Because it is nothing I can do in my own power nothing. to make God do anything. Oh my God. There's nothing you can do in your own power to make God do nothing. I didn't make God allow me to wake up this morning. He showed us some kindness. He told the devil angel, get back and behave. I got more work for him to do. I can't give the devil angel permission until his work is finished. Until your work is finished. Right. So, 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 if God saying that, why do people have a problem with prayer? Really, it's not the prayer. They got a problem with this mind. They got a problem with their mind. And what's in the mind is everything got to do with this world, what they could touch, what they could feel, what they could see, what they want. The issue of life, the cares of life, and Satan with his demonic activity. I ain't got time for that. Right? So, so, uh, 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 so, we got to, we got to keep our mind stayed on him. That's our job. If we keep our mind stayed on him, he keep us in perfect peace. So, that's our job. That's our job. Amen. Amen. So how do you keep your peace? Through prayer. Amen. Through the word. Amen. Through confessing. I'm speaking no baby, not the word. Amen. Sorry, devil. You, you, you too late. He done been too much for me. He done been too good to me. He done showed me too much. My, my, so you too late to my, I don't my, for me not to pray, for me not to go to prayer, not for me to come in to prayer, come in to service prayer. You know what? When I uh, let me say this here, if y'all ever see me come in these doors, I said I've said it every, every so often when the Holy Spirit uh, helped me to say it because I don't want folks to think I'm acting funky or funny. If I come through these doors, my mind on one thing. I'm praying and my mind on what needs to be done. So if you speaking to me and I don't hear you, if I don't stop, that, that I ain't trying to disrespect you, I ain't trying to so I ain't, ain't no faith to you, ain't no this and that, ain't no this and that, ain't none of that. It just that's where I'm at. That's just where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And and every intercessor, every leader up under me, you ought to be the same way. You you, you gotta be in the spirit. Cause, cause if, the, if if God, if you pick up a spirit trying to come in, you ought to be able to start praying these spirit. You ought to be praying so oh, what are we gonna do then? Shut all this talking up in prayer. It's time to pray. Amen, Jesus. You don't know how, you don't know how to pray. You don't, you tired of praying? Just, you, just, just look. <laughs> don't cut across the spirit. Hello. Don't be a damp in the spirit. Amen. Cause, Amen. cause some atmosphere, it don't be the devil. Amen. Coming off the street, it be the one that's in there that's idle. Amen. Where Satan sits. Amen. 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 So don't. Don't be assistant to Satan. All right. <laughs> be in agreement to God. Right. Amen. Amen. Don't be assistant to Satan's work, but be in agreement to the things of God. Yes. This shall be a house of prayer. Amen. We praying. Amen. Amen. We praying. I told you earlier, pray that you pray that your tension span, y'all stay strong, stay long. Amen. Pray all the distraction from you. Pray, just pray. Stop praying in the vain. Amen. Amen. Thou just praying. Amen. Amen. Thou praying. Don't be a. I, I'm teaching tonight. You're teaching. You come out early. I'm teaching tonight. Yes, sir. Because yeah. uh, church is, or, is one thing to stop, but if I gotta stop for adults, yeah. that's another thing. That, that, that now that's a shame. Mm -hmm. If I gotta stop for adults and adults talking and doing all the crazy stuff, now that and, what you think about what God thinking? What you think about that? Now that's a shame. Now that's a shame. And that's a shame. Now that's a shame. 
Now that's a shame. If the preacher man got to stop because grown up, say they've been in God five years, 20 years, and, and, and the preacher seeing them cutting up like crazy, that's a shame. Truth. And then you wonder where the prayer life is. Because with your prayer life, it, you, it would demand self control. Yeah. It would demand, I would not be distracted. It would demand you're going to respect my spiritual walk. It would demand, prayer life demands things. Good God Almighty, prayer life demands things. Anything that the enemy could use, it reverses. No, you got the wrong one. Amen. You got the wrong one. And, and, and then when it comes down, when, 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 when it's time to praise him, and, 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 and. All right. You'll see where the prayer like that too when the time to praise yeah. him. Won't wave your hand. Because your prayer will meet your praise. Y'all remember what I was teaching about prayer, praise, patient, persistent? Y'all remember that? <laughs> oh, it all works together. It's just a different end. It's just a different area of our life. It's just another area of our abilities and, 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 and our walk and, and what we can use. But it comes together. Listen, I ain't never seen a car have a good motor and could ride by itself without the four tires. Let them out on a transmission to roll it. I ain't never seen that. So we got to have prayer. We got to have patience. We got to have persistence. We got to have faith. Y'all, y'all. You better continue to confess. Amen. You better continue because it's going to come. It's going to come. And, and, I, and God wants everybody to pass it. Yeah. He wants you to pass that test. He wants you to pass that test. He wants you to pass it. Not run from it, but pass it. Amen? Amen. And prayer helps you to pass it. Because prayer helps you when you don't understand what you're looking at. Oh, right. Amen? Amen? Deserving to kick on. Amen? All right. Luke 11. Luke 11. Luke 11. I want everybody, while you turn it, I want you to say, my prayer, my prayer is important. Is important. Yes, Lord. So now, uh, you know, in order for one of the disciples to ask Jesus to teach us how to pray, teach us how to pray, that means they saw Jesus pray or something. They had to. You know, how, how, let, me, let, me, let me do this here. How you, why would you ask somebody to teach you to do something if you have not experienced or saw it? Right. Amen. So that means they saw Jesus praying. You know, and one thing about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus was smooth. Jesus said, you go over there. I'll meet you. Well, how you gonna get here? We got the ship. Don't worry. I'm going to pray. Yeah. So you know, so could you imagine prayer took Jesus from, from the mountain into the water? Oh God. To teach Peter. If you believe, you can go against gravity. Thank you, God. Yes, Jesus. If you believe, your prayer work for you. Yes. Amen. 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 So, 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 prayer. Oh God, prayer also. Prayer important. 
poor and the frail and poor. Where else they go? Luke 11 and 11. If his son shall ice bread. No, no. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Luke 11, 11. Chapter 11, right. verse 11. If a son shall ice bread of any of you that is, is a father, he will give him a stone. Right? What does that sound like? What does that sound like? What does that sound like? Let me read this again. No, no. Oh, oh, this is just a trivial question. This is trivial. This is a trivial question. Amen. All right? Y'all ready for a trivial question? Amen. If a son shall ice bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? This is a trivial question. It's going to expand your brain. You already yeah. know. What is it? Okay. Anybody can catch that. Give me, a, give me, a, give me, a, give me, a, give me a passage of scripture that that will coincide with that. That will, that will. You can read. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna read it again. You can read that verse to yourself. Read, read, just read what I read. Hmm. Uh-huh. What do you what you say? Okay, say it. Yeah, but I want I want you to say it. Right, right, right. But I, I'm, I'm, let me show you all this. I want y'all to read that verse. Just read that verse. And span the scriptures. You and, want an example of, okay, like Exodus when they was asking for, I mean, he gave the manna. Do you want like an example like that? What was that again? Red down. 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 That's Matthew 4. Red down. Red down. Now, I'm going to show y'all something in this. See, I don't read the Bible as a novel. All right. Now, let's go here. If the sun shall ice bread of any of you that is a what? Father, will he give him a stone? What was the devil was trying to get Jesus to do? Make the stone into what? Bread. Amen. So I want to show you how the enemy get right in to manipulate the word of God. But Jesus is saying, listen, let me show you the confidence that you must have. Come on. If your natural father will give you a stone or give you whatever, I just want you to look at me and expect the best from me. Because right. only the enemy, amen, going to give you the words. So he using, watch this here. If the son shall ice the bread of any of that is a father, right? Mm -hmm. Will he give him a stone? If he ice fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Now, but I, I, I want to bring this up. I'm, I'm going in so many different areas. I want you to catch this. I, I want to show you how the enemy will come and manipulate the scriptures to bring the confidence from your prayer life and from your understanding and twist the word of God and make you feel that God don't hear your prayer or that ain't what it is. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when, when you see that the enemy uh, didn't want Jesus to eat but he wanted him, it, it really wasn't about him to eat. It, 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 it was just going to forfeit his assignment early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't want him to fast. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He was going to 
on for a few, that's his thing with not let me knock him off now. Mm -hmm. So if if I'm if our father, if our father, right, mm -hmm. if he will give us uh 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 if we ask our father, right, mm -hmm. for bread of any of you that the father will give you a stone, listen. No, he ain't going to give you no stone. Stone. The devil will talk about a stone. Uh -huh. No, he going to give you some grocery. He going to make provision. He going to eat some grocery. If you got to go down to Metropolitan, there's some grocery there that he still provides. For them. If, he don't get, if I don't get the money, go to, go, to, go to get the stone myself. He ain't providing. That ain't so. That ain't, that ain't so. That ain't so. See, folks, the, let me let me hear you. Back. Let me let me teach you. Real. I'm gonna let you go. Fuzzy, you cannot try to size up and dictate how you want God to answer your prayer. Cause God ain't gonna give you money all the time to do what you need to do. He'll open up favor to get what you need to be done. He'll open up favor. He'll open up avenue. So if you're hungry, God said, I give you something to eat. Metropolitan there, Red, oh, Red, Red Cross there, yes. St. Vincent. Vincent de Paul there. Yes. So it's some food somewhere. He already made an escape for you, but we got to drop the pride. That was time Pastor went over and got my witness. St. Vincent de Paul. Yeah, you did. When I was drunk. I'm just being real. She did Lord, give me some food. She already knew what the food was. But we we try to dictate and want God to answer our prayer the way we want Him to answer. Where He was, He blessing everybody else. He blessing God to stop lying. I already got it right there in front of your door. All you all got to do is just catch the bus and go, go, go drive over there and go over there and make a phone call for it. We got so much pride in the body of Christ. We don't put we don't put prayer or we don't put pride on with and mix it in with our prayer. You ain't going nowhere like that. If you mix pride with your prayer, you ain't going nowhere. You're double minded. You're double minded. You don't let the devil bamboos you like that. Amen. Because if I'm hungry, just, I go in. Amen. <laughs> some stuff you ain't got to pray about going there. You go get everything you're going there. Wait for your food there. Amen. <laughs> you ain't got to pray for everything. We get so deep, we got to pray for everything. Go on there and wait for your food there. I'm just giving you an example. Amen. 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 So you got to realize, you got to ask yourself, uh, if it's something you can control mm -hmm. and you need to change, ask God to give you the wisdom and the knowledge to change it. Amen. And also, while you give me that, add patience. Because when I'm about to change my mind, I ain't let nobody change my mind. Give me patience, we'll wear it out. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So whatever you got to do in your prayer life, uh, anything you got to do in your prayer life. I'm teaching. I need somebody to help me. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to help. Come on, give me, give me somebody else. Give me somebody else to help me. Give me somebody else to help me. Give me somebody else to help me. I want to show you how poor. Come on, tomorrow. You good? You good tomorrow? You good tomorrow? You good? I like that. I like that. You in this body. Amen. You gonna get that right there. All right, give give me give me four more. Come on, uh, uh give me four more. Four more volunteer. Four more volunteer. Four more volunteer. All right. 